Good morning, everyone. Today is the 5th of April, 2018. It's a uh, Thursday morning. Market's going to open here in a little bit. I'll be back. Market's open. Went for an immediate short here. Once we hit target, I'll be looking for longs. Almost there. One more little push. Hmm, coming all the way back up here. Great place to get into the trade or to add on. Oh, came way back up there and got me. That was rude. Went short again. Targets down here. That'll give me three nuggets in the dome, compensating for the gift I had here. Once again, once we get down here to this area, there should be an opportunity for a long. I'm going to be looking for that also. Great place to add on here. If I didn't have a gift under my belt, I uh, probably would feel more secure about it. I'm just going for sure things here. When you have gifts, you have to go for sure things. You can't be uh, too aggressive. I just didn't feel good about taking this one, so stayed out of it. Obviously, uh, it could have worked out, but uh, at the moment, it didn't feel right. All right, target's filled. Now let's look for that long. Let's look for that long. Got my three nuggets back. All right, let's look for that long. Just as I was hoping, as this was coming down, the pressure to the upside was increasing. So that tells me that it's not going to continue down forever. It's about to reverse here. If I did not see that, I would not be involved with uh, anticipated long here. Let's wait for the signal here. All right, got a signal to go long, went long. Let's see if we can grab three nuggets to make up for yesterday. There we go, pushing up nicely. 30% there. Awesome. Target's filled. Got my dome where I wanted it to be. Made up for yesterday. And I am a happy camper. I'm not going to get greedy. Just going to walk away here. Call it a day. See you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Whoa, a whole lot of confusion going on here, huh, guys? Look at that. Aren't you glad you're not into uh, a trade right in this vicinity? It's uh, very confusing here. A lot of mixed signals right here. Got a couple charts in already. There's one from Anita. Um, let's look at this. Anita did not get suckered in to the first trade like I did. She waited till it was a lot more clear and obvious here. So if you notice, she took more or less the same trade as I did here. We had the signal. She saw the signal. We saw it at the same time. Very nice. Beautiful, Anita. Got one from uh, Sean here. Same thing. Look at this. They know what they're looking at. They know exactly what needs to be in place to initiate a trade. Very nice, guys. Proud of you. Awesome. And we just thought I'd share that. Uh, it's the only ones I've gotten in so far. Oh, you know what? I'm seeing uh, 
I'm looking at the charts here. Um, I'm seeing an opportunity for a short here coming up. Uh, as this, here's here's why. As this is meandering sideways, it's really registering on our instruments, our, our scales here. It's saying, as this journey to the upside is happening, the pressure to the downside is increasing. So that's telling us this is going to be a short-lived push. Is it going to go way up here? Probably not. So somewhere in this vicinity here, somewhere in this vicinity here, it's going to go back to the downside. How do we know exactly where? Well, we've got magic Fibonacci numbers that we use to anticipate the higher probability areas. We plug that all in and we say, okay, the conditions are right and somewhere in this vicinity it's going to go short. Well, what are we looking at? We're looking at the pressure readings and as this is going up we're noticing, hmm, yeah, that's going to be short-lived. It's, it's not going to continue up. It's not going to go up here. There's not enough power to accelerate it to that degree. So we're thinking there's going to be a short right here. Okay, so let's let's go with this premise. I don't know if it's going to happen, but let's look for one of our simplest, easy to spot signals to go for a trade. So right here, the conditions are right. Don't know if it's going to happen, but the conditions are right. We are more or less consolidating here, guys, right? Consolidating. So one of our simple entry techniques is, should this 233 start dropping down, okay? Should he start dropping down while the price is still meandering sideways? That's a great signal to get into a trade. So let's see if it does happen. Don't know if it is, but let's keep our eyes open. Got some time here, so might as well have a mini, mini tutorial here, huh? Just going back over the course of what happened here. So right here, we start going sideways, okay? 233, never came to the downside, never came to the downside, never came to the downside. It's just continually pushing up, 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 up. But really the price is not keeping up with it. BBs are going up, but the price is yeah, kind of lagging behind here, isn't it? This could also be looked at through a larger window. Okay, this is a little more advanced, but what if we took this as a sign of consolidation? It's going sideways here just on a longer, larger time frame, right? It's still going sideways, just in a bigger scale. So if we're going sideways there, what's actually happening here? Aren't we going down? Aren't we going down? See where I'm going with this? Aren't we going down? So the larger time frames, they are extended time, time more into the future. If I can put it in perspective, time in the future on the 610 could be maybe 10 minutes. Time in the future on the 2584 in comparison could be 30 minutes. Okay, so it's time into the future. So if these guys are telling us, you know, I've been going down since way back here, okay? Well, if this is one big consolidated area, what it's telling us is, hmm, it stands to reason that this guy should go down, right? Okay, right here, notice, 233. This is your first aggressive entry. Why? Because there's a change here. There's a change. There's a change in personality. Put it in perspective. There to there. There to there. Okay. Never came above this pivot high. Never came above this pivot high. So right here, okay, as we're looking at from that pivot high to that area high, BBs are still going up. BBs are still going up. 
BBs are still going up. All of a sudden, we're noticing that the BBs are going down. Okay, they made it past this white band already, back in here. This would have been the entry right here, right? As we see this line right here, so let's just say right about here is the entry signal. Looking at it from a larger time frame's perspective. Follow me? So let's say that this is the large time frame's entry. We would have gotten in right there. These guys have already told us that I plan on going down. I'm leading the way right here. Okay, all the way from back here. They said, I'm going to go down from way back here. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Okay, so let's just look at it through the beginner's eyes, beginner's level. Right here, it's telling us, just on the 233 level, that it has intentions of going down. Okay, so right here, if we just look at it from there to there, just kind of open up this box a little bit, make it a little higher for the area of consolidation. But we could basically say, you know, it was consolidating here, going up, down, up, down, up, down. Maybe a slight upward slope. Okay, but nonetheless, it was consolidating here. And right here is the first time that the 233 started pushing down, right? Made it through this white band, went from one side of the river to the other. So if you were to be conservative and say, I'm getting into the trade right here, just from the signal I'm seeing on the 233, that's very conservative. Aggressive would be right here. But this is very conservative on the smaller time frame level. But guess what? The advanced students, the ones that can put all of the charts together and listen to what they're saying, well, they knew from way back here on the larger time frames that this was going to happen. This was going to happen. So you can see the early reading, and if you're trading a larger time frame, well, you just expand things, larger stop loss, larger profit target. But on a smaller level, and this is what we mainly trade, we're just looking for three points, and that revolves around what the 233 is telling us. But if you're looking for a larger potential, trade the larger time frames. It's not constricted to any one time frame. It makes sense on any time frame. It makes sense on any instrument, any product. This is universal. The only reason we specifically trade the RTY is because we know this RTY slash TF very, very intimately. We, we know so much about this that it's almost scary. We've gotten comfortable with its personality and its historical behavior that we can anticipate it a lot more clearly than just some random instrument that we picked up out of the sky somewhere. Consistency revolves around familiarity and we are very familiar with the RTY. Can you do this on any other instrument? Absolutely. That's what I'm trying to say. This all makes sense universally. And look, we're going down. Okay, once we break below this area here, okay, we're in a whole new world. But if you're looking for three points, we got in here, where do we need to go? We only need to come to here. And we're almost there. Right about there. 3.1. And that's telling us it's going to happen way back here, right? Let's see if she hits. Okay, here as it's popping back up, it's telling us Hey guys, guess what? 
I'm really not serious about going up, so if you want to take advantage of this information, consider adding on. If you're not in the trade already, it's giving you an invitation, sending you an invitation. Hey, there's a great opportunity up ahead. Think about going short here pretty soon. So rather than freaking out, oh no, it's coming back up. Those of us in the know are thinking, hmm, should I or shouldn't I? How many cups of coffee have I had this morning? Do I feel aggressive? There's an opportunity coming. It's knocking on the door. If you're there to answer it, you can take advantage of it. But if you don't know what's going on, if you're just not going to see in it anything, you're not going to be aware of anything, how can you take advantage of something that you really aren't familiar with, that you're not even aware of? Right here it's telling us, I'm about to go short again. What's that on? Wait, let's wait for the signal. What's the signal? Well, once again, if this yellow dot curls down, I'm thinking about adding on. Why? Because this guy is saying, I'm still going down. Hello. Hello. I'm still going down. Where's our stop loss? Stop loss is still one tick above that pivot high. About halfway still. Got plenty of room yet before we hit our stop loss. If you're a nervous Nelly, you're out of the trade already because the majority of the people get into the trade and first chance they get as the market goes down is, oh, you're not getting anything back from me. I'm going to break even. Ha <laughs> ha, got you fooled. Well, guess what, guys? They know what you're doing. They know market psychology, traders market psychology, personal traders behavior as the masses have been studied, analyzed behavioral patterns. They know. They know that the average trader, beginner, knows that if they give them enough rope, they'll hang themselves. So they make it look like, yeah, I'm going to make the market go down. And as soon as all those newbies go to break even, because that's what they do, it's human nature protecting your assets, they take advantage of that. They're going to come back and get you. And they have no intentions of going any higher. So we keep our stop loss up here and monitor things as things are happening here. These large guys are saying, nothing's changed here. We're still going down. So if we're holding up for this target here, yeah, we don't want to see the market go up, but it's not that intimidating if you know what's most likely going to happen. The guys that are a little braver, they're thinking, okay, give me that yellow dot down. I'm in. Just give me the signal. So if we get a signal here, we can get into a short. Why? Because it's still going down. Nothing's changed. There we go. There's the signal, right? Oops. Click on this. There we go. Okay. Right there. If he stays down there, bam. There's the signal right there. Right? Come on. Print. Oh, I got the wrong one. I'm sorry. Right there. There we go. Okay, right here we got the signal. If you got into this trade, where are you going to put your stop loss? One tick above the pivot high. Okay, so both of these targets are going to give us close to three nuggets, right? So if I leave this line here, I can move this out of the way. What you could actually do is take this stop loss and move it equal to this one here, okay? Because if they're going to come past here, 
they're most likely going to keep going to the upside. So if they make it past this pivot, they're serious about going up. So if they go down and come back up, they will most likely not come past this pivot. So right here, as people got into the trade in this vicinity, most likely a good majority of them just went to break even. Break even plus one. And, ah, I got you outsmarted. You're not going to get me. Well, guess what? They plan for you doing that. And they take advantage of you. Anyway, you got a little bit more to go here. Almost there. One more little push. We ought to have it. Three nuggets on this run and three nuggets on that one. Pretty close. This one's 3.1. This one's uh, 3. So just keeping things simple. And there we go.